Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. On this channel, I create videos on beauty tips, makeup tutorials, product reviews, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. In today's video, I will be showing you how to exfoliate your face. If you haven't already realized, skincare to me on my channel and in my life is just as important to me as applying makeup is. So if you guys want to see how to exfoliate your face, then just keep on watching. Now why is exfoliation so important, you ask? Now it's very important to understand that your skin continues to grow like hair. It will continue to grow in layers. So as the new regrowth comes through, the old skin will fall off. Now as we age, the rejuvenation process that our skin naturally does on its own will slow way down. And dead skin cells will build up on the surface of your skin, causing dry spots, dark spots, and dullness. So a way to care for your skin and help it along on its rejuvenation process is to incorporate an exfoliation process into your skincare routine. And in time, you'll see your skin turn brighter, softer, and more luminous. Not only will exfoliation help care for your skin, but if you're someone who wears makeup on a daily basis, then exfoliation will also help the makeup that you apply on top of your skin apply more flawlessly, smoothly, and give it a more airbrushed look. So it's a win-win all around. It's also very important to note that you don't have to do this exfoliation process every day, as this will only strip your skin of all the good and natural oils that it will produce. And also, do this process at night time before you go to bed. So any other skincare products that you apply on top of your skin after you exfoliate will have time overnight to work its magic on your skin. Once you do this process of exfoliation, it'll inevitably leave your skin feeling a little bit drier. So it's always important to follow up with your soothing lotions, moisturizer, anti-aging cream. Now choosing a suitable exfoliant for your skin type is very important. If you choose an exfoliant with texture, like with those little exfoliant beads, then make sure that you choose something that has texture that is well rounded and smooth, not something with sharp jagged edges because you don't essentially want to be sandpapering your face. I know the brand Sukin has several natural face exfoliants. In fact, if you go to like Chemist Warehouse or Priceline or places like that, I'm sure you'll find a whole range of different face exfoliants. I know Neutrogena has some as well. If you have super sensitive skin, then you might not want to use something that is grainy, that has a texture and something that you feel is scratching the skin of your face. And I'm the same. I prefer to use what is technically called a chemical peel or an exfoliating gel. Now don't get scared off by the word chemical. It really just means that the product is engineered to peel your skin without the abrasive particles. These types of products will cleanse and exfoliate the skin without scratching the surface of it. Two really affordable options for this type of product are the two ones that I use from The Body Shop. This one is the Vitamin C Glow Revealing Liquid Peel. It's rich with vitamin C from the Amazonian rainforest in Peru. That's what it claims to have. And it removes dull, tired, and grumpy skin. The other one that I use is also from The Body Shop. This one is from their Drops of Youth line. And it's also just um, a youth liquid peel exfoliant. Also, excuse my nails. So both of these products don't have particles in them. These are both liquid peels that is engineered to exfoliate and rejuvenate the skin without the abrasive particles. Today I'll be using the Jericho Cosmetics Pomegranate Facial Peel. It is a lot more expensive but I'll be using this one today because I have it and there's just a little bit left and I want to use it up. But these are essentially the same thing. They do the same thing. If I can find these products online, I will leave them listed in the description box down below for you to go check out at any point in this video if you want to try them out. Unfortunately, the Jericho Cosmetics Pomegranate Facial Peel, I have done an internet scouring and I cannot seem to find it anywhere, but I will search a little bit harder and if I do find it, I will leave it listed down below. Otherwise, if it's not there, I couldn't find it, I'm sorry. But these are essentially the same thing and there are a whole lot of other options for you to try out there as well. So now having said all that, I'm gonna get you up close and personal and I'm gonna show you how I exfoliate my face. Okay, before you start this process, you're gonna wanna make sure that your face is warm and damp. I'm not in my bathroom. I've got a bowl of hot water here with me and I'm just going to gently wet my face. Now I'm gonna take a small amount on my fingertips and I'm gonna do section by section on my face so that the product doesn't have time to dry and just sort of cake on there. So I'm gonna take a little bit on my fingertips and use only very gentle circular motions on your face, especially around the delicate eye area. Be sure not to actually scrub your face because this will cause you wrinkles. 
just very gently move the product around and let your fingertips and the product do the work. So I'm gonna go in again with a little bit more and do another section of my face. Always be sure to bring the product down your neck as well because your skin doesn't stop here. So always take the time to go a little bit further down your neck as well, especially since that is a place where we also apply makeup. I don't know why, but there seems to be a fair bit more coming off on this side than the other side. That's weird. I know that looks a little bit gross, but it's also kind of satisfying at the same time. <laughs> Also, excuse my fingernails. I've been wanting to get them done, but I'm a tight ass bitch, so I'm just waiting for them to like fall off. <laughs> I know it looks kind of gross. Make sure that you get into all the crevices, contours of your face, especially around the nose and around the mouth. But it's also very important to note that once you get around the nose and the under eye area, to just be extra gentle because your eyes are super delicate and you don't want to get that product in your eyes either <laughs> it's also helpful to do this around the places where you struggle with texture for me that's around my forehead here and around the nose and around the mouth so I'm gonna really focus a lot of that product in those areas as well this is actually taking off a whole lot more than I thought it would the more that I scrub. Now because this exfoliant isn't abrasive, like it's really just product I'm rubbing over the surface of my skin, you could even do this process twice because it is actually quite gentle. Now if you see my skin getting red, that's just a natural part of exfoliation because I am rubbing warmth into my skin as well. It's not actually irritated or anything like that. I'm gonna take that down the neck as well. Okay, now I'm going to show you, this is gross, but this is what has come off my face. Okay, I'm going to go splash some warm water over my face and wash all those particles off and I'll be right back. After you wash it off, always make sure that you pat dry your face with a clean towel. And once you've done that, you can go on with your usual nourishing skincare routine. It definitely got rid of a fair bit of darkness around my forehead and in this area here, I had a fair bit of darkness and patchiness there. Another quick tip for these products, especially the ones that are more affordable, I use these all over my body. I know that sounds weird and it sounds excessive, but this one all over my body, my body's feeling like as smooth as my face. Honestly, you should try it. I wouldn't use this all over my face because this product is like 180 bucks. <laughs> but these ones are like something like 28, 30 dollars each and they last for a long time. As you can see, I've had this bottle for about four months now, five months, something like that. And I'm only halfway through and I only have to do this process once a fortnight and I probably should do it more often on my body because my skin's starting to look a little ashy <laughs> and that's never cute. But yeah, no, it's definitely something for you to consider that you can use this product for more than just on your face. Oh, it feels good. I was actually so due to do this and I thought I may as well film it and show you guys how to exfoliate your face. So in conclusion, exfoliation is definitely a really important step in your skincare. Not to be skipped, but don't overdo it. This step in your skincare routine done correctly and with the right products for your skin type is definitely a step in the right direction for more glowy, luminous, and supple skin. See, so that's it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe before you leave if you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. My goodness, it feels so soft. Both of these, you know, get you all up in my grill, not grill, direction, no, 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 no. Choosing a suitable exfoliant 
exfoliate. Exfoliate. Why do I keep saying that? 